Yes, you because you've got because I'll have one, eight. two, three. Yes, an eighth oh, on each side. And I have to remember, as long as you sew, um, you you always have something to do. You'll never be bored. But bra making, obviously, is way more fun than quilting or regular garment making. If they're already sewing, then we can teach them how to make a bra. And then um, if they come back for sort of what I'm going to call the master's classes, they can come um, and learn to do all the very advanced stuff. So, like, I have a class this, this week um, going uh, doing plus-size bras. So we do all different classes that are five days long and people come from all over the world to take these classes. I'm, I'm blessed. I, I love it. My inspiration basically is my mom who is like, she's like 74 and she never had a bra that fits her. So she always had to complain of her back and she always have like indented shoulders because the breasts like heavy and they're like dragging. So she just had that hard time whole life. I just want to come here and learn it so that I can make her one and make her happy. Some of them will come because they personally cannot find a bra that fits them well. Maybe they have one breast that's larger than the other. Maybe they've had, um, you know, breast cancer and, and what's out there for the bras isn't pretty enough or, or imaginative enough, so they'll come for that. Or um, just that they've never been able to find a bra that fits their unique body. You can see here the rib cage is so small, but the cups are so big. So you don't get these at the stores because they never make them like this. They only make for a certain size, like for average women. So if you are really small on your waist and you have really big boobs, you, you don't get it. So this is, it's half done. It's not complete, but it's getting there. I hope it will fit her.